Hi guys. It is a hot, sticky, miserable day. It is in the dog days of August that finally hit Bugs in a Jar Farm on this sweltering, awful day. In the collapse. No, this is in the end times. We're going to make this the end times in this video. So guys, obviously, I just have to give the uh, <coughs> this new Pauline Love Hambone Little Tail Romance Brouhaha, the latest chapter. Now, this is up to Pauline, I guess, whether this is the last chapter here on uh, now Thursday, August 12th, 2021. Now, the, the, big, the, the big question I'm hearing from people about this whole thing is, is why the fuck did Pauline, you know, with Guy sitting right in the room with her, why did she dredged this up. I have not mentioned either one of those fuckers. I haven't thought about either one of those fuckers uh, for well over a year. I have I have not mentioned uh, Guy McPherson or his little... Uh, I'm not so sure how deep pockets she is anymore, his little sugar tit, how deep pockets she is or not. Uh, I have no reason, I, I have no idea, I can't think of any conceivable reason for Pauline to, to start uh, throwing shit around, uh, talking about some, some fucking bullshit, uh, and it was an absolutely factually incorrect uh, bullshit about something. It wasn't November of 2018. 2017, I knew this fucking bitch for a, a, a couple of hours on one evening. And I guess I made a fucking impression with her because she's still fucking talking about it. And, uh, and I noticed in that video, I mean, I noticed this shirt that I was wearing and I said, I just bought that shirt. And so this is a video that she was, you know, using to prove what a racist, misogynist I am for suggesting that any time anybody immigrates to another country, that the number one rule of allowing them in that country, I don't care what fucking country it is, what color skin uh, you have going into the country, makes no fucking difference if you want to move to another country, uh, you need to get sterilized. I'm, I have absolutely nothing to apologize, but, but like, what the fuck is, is Pauline Love even doing listening to, to my videos? You know, but, but as I said in the comment, if this fucking bitch uh, wants to come looking for a fight, she's come to the right place because obviously it's clickbait. Uh, I mean, not much clickbait, but I have, I, I do notice now, Pauline put her video out on July 27th, and at least as of two days ago, three, she had 352 hits. And my video has been up uh, for what, about 44 hours. I notice I have, uh, I think, over 550. So in less than 48 hours, uh, I have more clicks on my video than she's gotten on hers. So nanny nanny boo boo, I got more views than you. What's the matter, bitch? Is your slip showing, Pauline? Uh, but anyway, uh, for some reason, you know, it, uh, I, I, I am proud to say that the new sizzling romance between Hambone Littletail and Pauline Love, uh, the, the, the new sizzling romance uh, here in the Doomosphere, uh, has not gone unnoticed by YouTube, by the YouTube cop bots. And uh, I don't know if this is because, and I'm not even suggesting that it is, cause that it, either Pauline or Guy or one of the ass-licking toadies flagged it and sent them in, but uh, apparently uh, Hambone Littletail and Pauline Love's sizzling romance has caught the attention of the YouTube cop bots, and not just any cop bot, but the YouTube sex bots. So, uh, 
Here is my latest love letter from uh, YouTube. I have never received this exact love letter from YouTube since the day I was born. But uh, thank you, Pauline Love, for putting me on the YouTube radar. Uh, if I can find it. Okay. Dear Humpty Dumpty Tribe, no, hi Humpty Dumpty Tribe, we wanted to let you know that our team has reviewed your content and we do not think this is in line with our sex and nudity policy. As a result, we are age restricting the following content. So anyway, guys, as some of you may have noticed, right before I went to bed, uh, the night before last at midnight, I, I recorded a second video called uh, Say It, what is it? Uh, Say It One More Time with Pure White Hot Feeling, Baby. And I thought when I, when I put that video, and even for Hambon Little Taylor, that even this was pushing the envelope, and I was pretty sure that the YouTube cop bots were going to, I, I assumed they were going to rip the video down uh, or, or minimally age restrict it. So I just, so when I opened this up, I just assumed the video they were talking about what, what, you know, was that video where I was pretending <coughs> to masturbate to a, uh, you, you know, to a close-up of Pauline, uh, Pauline's mouth calling me a pure white-hot misogynist or whatever she called me. I mean, anyway, so I put on this joke video about me, uh, uh, about me whacking off to, uh, uh, into a flashlight, watching uh, Pauline Love uh, talk about what a misogynist I am, and not knowing full well, uh, just to see how far I could push that envelope. And so I assumed that that's what the cop, but, but that wasn't the video that they, that what it was, was the first video. You know, the long video uh, titled Pauline Love, you know, quoting Pauline, Sam was the most sexist, misogynistic pile of crap I have ever met, says Guy McPee's clueless fucking bimbo. That is the one that they had flagged. Not, and not the one I thought they would flag. Uh, I, I have never been accused of violating uh, YouTube's sex and nudity policy. So the good news is we have not applied a strike to your channel and your content is still live, you know, for some of viewers, meaning if you are under 18, you cannot watch that video if you are not at least 18. And so what I honestly don't know, guys, to this minute, I, I've gone back and listened to that video, which is very tame. Uh, it's very tame compared to the one they did not flag. I honestly don't know after listening to it and watching it whether it was my part of the video that got it, uh, that, you know, got it flagged by the YouTube sex bots, or was it Pauline's? You know, I honestly don't know which one of us uh, was uh, responsible for getting uh, it flagged. Uh, what our policy says, content with excessive vulgar or sexual language is not considered appropriate for all audiences. Yes. Uh, excessive vulgar or sexual language violating the sex and nudity mm -hmm. policy but I have to say I really appreciate Pauline love uh, it, it takes a village it took me it took Pauline love for him on little tail to get recognized by YouTube's sex bots 
Uh, but anyway, I did enjoy the, uh, you know, Pauline, you know, she's a little chicken shit on top of everything else. She's a fucking spineless little chicken shit, just like that fucker she runs around with. Not only is she a lying sack of shit, she's a spineless little bitch. And so, of course, she did not allow uh, comments, and I don't know about thumbs up. I noticed that I have 42 thumbs up on that video and two thumbs down so 42 out of 44 and uh, I don't know how many comments uh, so I just uh, oh shit well I thought I had the uh oh I don't know whether I'm going to uh, get the I don't know if my router works this far. Okay, here it is. And, uh, ah, shit, well, this is for all the videos together. I did want to, what was, uh, I, I mean, I really love these. Uh, here is Caleb. I thought she was lower, I thought she was lower tier Israeli agent or something. Weird lady, that's for sure. Rich people are horrible in one way or another. Mostly. Yes. Uh, let's see. Uh, good God, there's a, a lot of them. Where is the one? I wanted to read uh, the one by James Dean. And I have to go through all these. God damn it, I met, I, now I'm seeing a lot of other ones I want to share. Good, God damn it, where is the one from, uh, Bill G, crazy women like this were my downfall. Yes, tell me about it. Uh, well, fuck. Where is the fucking comment? I had it up here. Did they pull it down? The, uh, it was by a fellow named James Dean. Oh, okay, here we go. Uh, you know, it's trying, it's trying to find fucking comments on, uh, on, okay. This was James Dean. This was my favorite comment. You know, I was talking about that uh, infamous day uh, that I am going to publish what really did or did not happen in the mud hut after that infamous interview in the mud hut. This was James Dean, uh, you know, trying to figure out what happened in the mud hut. I reckon that Hambone was invited to partake in a foursome and refused to rub up against guys for a little a woman scorned is a vengeful woman my response to uh to james dean was were you a fly on the wall in the mud hut but anyway thank you james dean but anyway guys before i wrap up this uh, video. I, I need to I, I need to have a serious fucking conversation. I mean all joking aside, okay, the joking is ending here. The fictional character Hambone Little Tail is signing off. And I from this point forward, anybody thinks I'm fucking joking, this is not ham this is not a fictional character talking. This is a real human being named Sam Mitchell. I am the performance artist behind the, this uh, sexist, racist, misogynistic, whatever else I am, fictional character named Hambone Littletail that's gotten uh, Pauline's panties in such a wad, uh, her damp panties uh, in such a wad. Uh, okay. This was going to be a rant about a comment I received on this video from one of these fucking ass-licking toadies that hang around uh, Guy and Pauline, one of these slime-coated ass-licking toadies. And 
I noticed the comment has been pulled down. I don't know if YouTube pulled the comment down, if the, if the motherfucker who posted it woke up this morning and, and, and pulled it down, or if uh, Pauline saw the comment and, and, and called the motherfucker and said, take this fucking comment down. So what this motherfucker did, guys, Okay, I, I have been on, on YouTube for how many years baiting trolls? I mean, obviously, on Humpty Dumpty Tribal, not I. Uh, Hambone Little Tail, part of my shtick is to bait trolls. I love my trolls. I love feeding trolls. Now, these ass-licking toadies have disappeared off of my channel. Uh, starting a, about a year ago, they stopped showing up. Uh, I kind of miss the ass licking toadies. I think that Kevin Hester finally got through to Guy McPherson, you know, call off the ass licking toady trolls. All it does is feed ham bone. All it does is give him clickbait material. And so I was disappointed. But anyway, I have received a half million comments, and I, this comment that this motherfucker, again, this is Sam Mitchell talking, this is not a fictional character. This is man to maggot to you, to this motherfucking ass licking Teddy who, who wrote this comment that w it, it was so gross. It was, I, I mean, it, it, it reached a new level of, uh, of depth of depravity. I don't know how many of you got to read it. So what this motherfucker did is he brought up my dead mother. Okay. He actually insulted the name. Well, not he. I don't guess he knows my, you know what I'm saying. He insulted the memory of my dead mother. You know, in, in his uh, ad hominem attack against me, he actually uh, put the memory of my dead mother into the same comment as this low class, no class, uh, little slut, Pauline Love. Okay, I, 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 I want to. I, 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 I want to make a, a couple of things clear. Sam Mitchell wants to make a couple of things clear, you fucking little maggot. Uh, n okay, number one is m my mother had more class in her little fingernail than Pauline Love has in her entire fucking body. Okay, I want you to understand that my mother had more class in one little fingernail uh, than, than that low-class little slut has in her whole body. That being said, I also want you to know, motherfucker, that Pauline Love has more class in her little fingernail than you have in your entire fucking body. For, for someone, I, I mean, you are, you are lower than Donald Trump. To, to, to bring up somebody's dead mother to, uh, to, to, to make your little troll comment. You, you, you know, you are so fucking uh, morally bankrupt that, I, I mean, I, it, I, I'm even surprised the fucking ass-licking toadies let you into their group. But what you are, motherfucker, what this comment was, guys, is, and what it is, is just, well, I'm almost not even going to say it's representative of the ass-licking toadies, but it's just a classic comment as, you know, reflecting the type of person that aligns behind Guy McPherson and Pauline Love. It's people who, who are so fucking uh, morally, ethically bankrupt, that they would resort to insulting somebody's dead mother 
to make a troll comment. I, 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 I mean, you, 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 there is a special place in hell reserved for people like you, and it's, and it's people like you that, uh, you, you know, that, that the, this fucking little gang of ass-licking toadies uh, you know, it's people like you that get behind people like Pauline and Guy, uh, and 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 uh, it 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 was it was more after that video. Uh, you know, when I finished that video, when Pauline and I, uh, and even to an extent uh, Guy McPherson and I, had buried the hatchet and made up. It, it wasn't uh, it, it, it wasn't even Guy and Pauline who really when when this when this thing between me and Guy McPherson turned ugly it wasn't even anything Guy or Pauline had said it's you fucking ass licking toadies you know if if if, if somebody in Humpty Dumpty tribe had made a comment like that. You know, if someone, one of my followers had uh, called up uh, the memory uh, of, of Pauline Love or, or Guy McPherson's dead mother to make a, a, a fucking uh, comment in defense of me, I would say, listen, you slime bag motherfucker, you get the fuck off of my channel. You get the fuck off of Humpty Dumpty Tribe and everywhere else. Okay? Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck your whole fucking ilk. You fucking little ass licking toadies. Okay. Thank you, Sam Mitchell, for that cameo appearance on Humpty Dumpty Tribe. This is Hambone Little Tail. Needing to wrap this up because uh, we got some campers coming into the tiny house and I got to get in there and change the sheets on the tiny house on the sweltering day. Get out there and change the sheets on your tiny house while you still can and uh, Pauline and Guy, if you want to keep this going, give it your best fucking shot, okay? If you've come looking for a fight, you've come to the right fucking place. If you just want to fucking let it drop, I will let it drop just like I did over a year ago. You're beneath my fucking contempt. Bye, guys.